Okay, it was flea market Sunday. Just came back and this is the haul. One thing right off the bat, there were absolutely no firearms or ammunition this year. First time in 30 years of doing this show that I did not see both or at least one or the other. Nothing. Not even a rusty old broken shotgun. Not a single thing. Okay, what we did get is a few interesting things. We got some really nice American-made rigid hammers. Look at that. Made in USA. And we got those for $3 each. Not really sure about the little sledge, but the, the hammers, the rigids, those are $3 each. USA. Can't go wrong with that. Try finding USA-made tools anymore now and what you pay for them. Got some nice black pepper and spices from the Spice Man up there. Love buying these things. I buy bulk. Use a lot of them. Got this oddball bayonet. It's British, obviously. It's for the number one, number four Mark I rifle. But if you look at it closely, that is a very crude pressed metal type of mount on there. I gotta research that one a little bit. See what the story is behind that one. It was cheap, so I picked it up, figured, what the hell. And let's see. Okay. I got a Russian helmet. That was only 15 bucks. It's got the liner, everything's in there. It's in good shape. I got a special socket I need for the spark plugs on the Model A. On the way home, I stopped at the gun shop and I bought some, uh, they had primers in stock. First time I've seen them in a while. Small and large rifle primers. The limit was a thousand, that's what I bought. And I got some filters. Never have too many of these. What you got there is the 5 16th filter. That fits a lot of different cars that I have. And the little ones there, those are for lawnmowers, as you see. And because I have a very flatulent friend, I thought I would buy him a special sign and hope that he pays attention to it. And for some other guy I know, we got the uh, beware of attack asshole there. He'll like that. Tape. You can never have too much packing tape because I ship a lot of stuff. $2 a roll. Not bad. I have a dispenser for that somewhere. Underneath it is a big bag of rags. And I got five. Freshly made, right in front of me, hand-rolled cigars, which I'm going to be enjoying in a short while. I'm sorry, those are three cigars I bought, just three. Now, over here, we have, it kind of disturbed me to see it being that it is Memorial Day tomorrow. This is a presentation flag, somebody's burial flag. They were selling it for 20 bucks. Brand, I mean, it's beautiful condition. It's obviously never been flown, but you're not supposed to fly these. They don't hold up well to that. This is supposed to be in a shadow box. Somebody received this and thought so little of it, they sold it for junk to some asshole who had it on a table full of old greasy car parts and other shit. So I immediately grabbed that. It'll be respected as soon as I put it in a shadow box. And let's see, we got from the patch and hat guy. We got us a hat here. World War II veteran with the uh, CIB on it, 44th Infantry, 44th Division uh, pin on there. That's for the old man because he is a veteran of World War II. His birthday is tomorrow. He'll be 87 years old. We'll give him that later. Put that aside so the wind doesn't take it. Yeah, I saw a couple of books here. We have Guns and Ammo 1973 Annual. Should be something interesting in there. For two bucks, I figure, what the hell, I'll grab it. And Buxton's Guide to Foreign Firearms. I might be able to get some information out of that too I can use. Always important to have gun books around, because you need them, you need them. And of course, I saw the tool man, as I always do. And there's always something I've lost or broken. This year was no exception. And we have a selection of nice Craftsman screwdrivers, Flathead and Phillips, stuff like that. And I have... A retractable magnet. Watch this. See? This is going to come in very handy for a little project I have to do. Little little magnet. Lose something in the engine, pick it up. And that was it. The place was crowded after yesterday's rainstorm. A lot of people went home, but uh, there were enough dealers there to make it worth my while to go up there anyway and pick up a few things. Had a good time. Ate some food. Oh, I almost forgot. There was a kid up there with a bunch of spark plugs. Now those auto lights there, there's 10 per box. They fit an old uh, DeSoto I own. And I paid a dollar and 
57 cents, I think it was, a piece for brand new, six brand new spark plugs, $1. fifty-seven each, plus shipping, because they weren't available locally. And uh, there's 10 per box there. He wanted $40 for all the spark plugs, everything. When I got them down a little bit on that. So there's probably $150 worth of spark plugs there easily. He says they're for older cars. No shit, kid. That's all I have anyway. They fit a lot of things. Old spark plugs getting harder to... Well, they're not getting hard to find. Just getting too damn expensive. I don't like to buy brand new. These are new, but they're old stock. Nice to have when you need them, which I did very recently. All right. I think that, that's the hole. I covered everything. Yep, that's it. Those rags, of course, are for cleaning the Gehendra. Which I'll be doing maybe this weekend. We'll see. I got a barbecue to go to, so I best get to it.